power of paper. From printmaking to art exhibitions and even handmade paper, Frontline Arts brings communities together through socially conscious creations. We're here in Branchburg to get our hands wet and find out what goes into this underdog art form. What is Frontline Arts? At Frontline Arts, we are a nonprofit arts organization located smack dab in the middle of the state. So we're very accessible. We have a gallery in the third floor and it's open to the public five days a week so they can come check out whatever we have in the gallery. We also have adult education workshops that we hold seasonally and we serve artists and the general public and also a large veteran population with our mobile programming and our in-house programming here at our studios. The work that Frontline Arts does with veterans is extremely important. Why is this important to you? My father was a veteran himself and I was drawn into this program during one of the free public workshops where I just dropped in, made a sheet of paper and met this veteran community that was just so friendly and open even though there was this really heavy, robust kind of content that they were sharing their stories on. And I was immediately drawn to it and also just sort of heart-wrenched by it because my father committed suicide. And as the program has evolved and I've become more integrated into it, I've seen how important it is for these veterans to not only share their stories on this paper and go through this process, but become artists themselves. Like they don't need to be known as veteran artists. Like they're artists and they're incredible and they're talented. What do you think it is about paper that has the ability to bring communities together? It's the fibers of the paper that are connecting in different ways that actually locks in the paper so it doesn't fall off the mold and decal. And beyond that, there's a metaphor there as well that the process of participatory art making, the socially engaging aspect, is very communal and it is connective. And we've seen it work where it builds community right in front of us. So the paper making process is really user friendly. And once you dip your hands into that paper slurry and kind of feel what that soupy paper pulp mixture feels like, you're really going to fall in love with it. So what do you say? Want to make some paper? I would love to get my hands wet and do it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm here with Walt Nygaard, studio manager here at Frontline Arts, and we are going to make handmade paper today. Walt, how do we even begin to do this? To begin with, you start with uniforms. I didn't even know that you could make paper out of, out of clothes. Frontline Arts begins around a table with a bunch of veterans. The idea is that we cut our uniforms up into small postage stamp sized pieces like this and then they're fed into a machine called a beater with water and with pure cotton to help bind and the beater rotates macerates it into pulp and that's what this is this is a mold this is a decal a mold is going to where you're going to pick your sheet up the decal frames it and holds it together I can already see the texture of this changing from when you pulled it out of the water. Then I'll pull the decal. Wow, it just it just holds its form like you can even It'll see stay the on on the oh yeah, on the gosh, mold. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's not falling off. You know, these are uniforms that we've worn that friends of ours have worn. They have an an emotional intensity to them. We say that we deconstruct our uniforms, which is cut them up. We reclaim them as paper and we communicate our stories through art. Now, Walter, are so you anyway, a veteran? I am a veteran. I served in the United States Marine Corps in the war in Vietnam. Well, thank you for your service. I mean, this is so much more than just paper oh, yeah. that you're making. Yeah. I mean, it's the next thing you do, you pull the sheet, we, we couch it from the French, coucher, we couche. lay it down. What does that mean? What does the French word mean? To lay down. To lay down. And we push it down here. In 24 hours, that's going to be a finished piece of paper made from U.S. military uniforms. Wow. So you want to make one? Yes, I would love to. Okay. Everybody has their different way of doing okay. it. I like to come in like this. Okay. Could go in there and flatten oh, it yeah, out. There you go. Kind of bring it forward towards you underwater. Uh huh. And lift up. And lift up. Oh, now it's going to pop that. loose. So hold it still. Oh yeah, there I feel go. that. And now can I tilt it up? No. I no. Keep it. Keep it level All with right, the ground at this go. point. I shake it up and down. You, you want? I like to get the surface water mm -hmm. to splash out of there first. Like mining for gold. It, it, yeah, like there is a like similarity. Sand. Yeah, like you're panning for gold. All right, now you can set that down on the sticks okay, over there. Okay, here we go. Oh, geez. So, so I'm going to lift up. There you okay. go, just straight up. Yeah, there we go. You can pick that up the same way. Okay. And hold it at a slant and let some water run okay. out of it. You see that? It's not coming off. 
So bring that over here. Okay. Now we're, this is called a post. So you want to put this down here. Okay. Now bring it down nice and firmly. Okay. Slowly. Slow and Slowly easy. Slowly and firm. Okay. Flat. There we go. We have landed. And then I come out the opposite you... way that I came in, oh, okay. like this. All right. Nice. It didn't break or anything. It so looks now got you that a... smoothness still. And you can see some of the, these grains <clears throat> of thread in it. Yep. It's really cool. So you want to make a pulp print? Yes. Let's go for it. Okay. The pulp prints that we make, we burn us. We have a, a whole book full of what we call stock images, and they're silk screens, and we lay them down on on a wet sheet like this. Now this, with your finger, very lightly press down on the areas that are going to be printed. Okay, now we're going to want to mask it off a little bit. Get the red. When you do this, it, the best way to do it is to kind of keep moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, moving, that's, that's moving. That's definitely the idea. Okay, good. We're going to kind of work this around a little bit. Okay, you got some black over there? Yes. Alrighty, and we'll push this down. And now for the finished product. 24 hours in a dry box, you have finished Frontline Arts paper. Here we go. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Walt, thank you for turning me into a paper maker. My pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you.